Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from levers in global connectivity, digital infrastructure, and the networks within. I'm Allison Whelan, coming to you live from Metro Connect USA 2024 here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale. And joining me today is Gustavo Peria and Jeff Ferry of Elia Digital Data Centers. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for joining me. Well, good to be here. Yeah. Nice to be here. Of course. So to dive right in, Gustavo, you have so much experience, 16 years in telecom with technical leaders and large internet servers. Can you tell us a little bit more about Elia's platform and its growing presence? Sure. So Elia is the eco-friendly digital infrastructure data center in Brazil, right? We intend to provide an easy and profitable entrance to Brazilian market, okay? taking to our customers a hyperscale-ready platform and also an edge strategy, right? So we can help our customers to bridge the digital gap that we have in Brazil. Okay, bridging that gap. And you just mentioned strategy, which leads right into our next question. <laughs> Your data center strategy, how does that serve hyperscalers and large enterprises? Yes, yeah, so the hyperscalers needs to offload their traffic, right? So sometimes we help them uh, connecting uh, our edge data centers so our edge customers can uh, achieve the traffic that is hosted in the main cities. But also we help the hyperscalers to host this content as close as we can to the edge, right? So taking hyperscales to the outside of the tier one cities of Brazil, like uh, Brasilia, Curitiba, and Porto Alegre, we are also helping uh, the country itself, right, to uh, improve and move forward. That's wonderful. And I, I think that's the benefit too, is that we have multiple like markets within Brazil, right? So we're in Sao Paulo, we're in Rio, we have capacity in both markets to be able to serve not only our existing clients, but then the hyperscale, large cloud clients. And, and so that's that's like attractive to them. But as he mentioned, right, we're in Brasilia, we're in Cochiba, okay. we're in Porto Alegre. And so those are markets that they're going to need to be closer to the eyeballs. And so we already have those clients establishing footprints in those markets, you know, be able to serve, you know, the entire uh, you know, the entire country. So the ability to hit those larger and smaller areas. Yeah, it's a good combination. Of yeah, course. Yes. Yeah, sometimes we do it through the ISP that we host over there. IXBR is also hosted in every of our data centers. So we are always trying to enable the connectivity, enable the interconnection. That's what we do. Enablement across Brazil. <laughs> right. And so how is it supported in its long-term plans to expand capacity across Brazil further? Right, so we're we're well positioned, as I said, with the assets we have. We have uh, we have growth capabilities in some of the key markets. We just we just built out and expanded Porto Alegre. Um, we're we're going to expand in São Paulo to have two additional sites that will allow us to grow and have additional capacity for not only our existing clients, but also for the hyperscale for the large cloud clients to be able to be in São Paulo in some differentiated areas. We have expansion capabilities in Rio and Brasilia for significant upside from you know for the cloud guys so so i think that allows us from a platform standpoint to not only you know kind of grow in our existing footprint but we also have other markets that we could grow and expand you know in, into other you know kind of cities within brazil right now we're almost entirely brazil focused because there's enough capacity there's enough need and demand that tells us we we don't need to go to other markets right now right. and so that's it's beneficial right you have one culture one currency one language um, and, and a team that is really well done. We have we have really good partners there from an investment side, um, and and I'm you know I serve on the board now. When I was at Goldman, we made the investment in Alia, um, so we have the support of Goldman Sachs, you know, as a kind of international global, you know, kind of financial um, sponsor, and then we have sponsors locally that really kind of um, help, you know, kind of manage the business day to day. Hire, you know, folks like Gustavo and others that have really built the management team. And so I think we're well positioned to be able to kind of take on additional capacity, you know, kind of deploy additional capital and grow the business you know, significantly over the next, you know, probably a couple of years. Yeah, it sounds like strategic expansion to keep up with that growth and stay ahead of that. Yeah, I, I think a lot of other, you know, kind of uh, platforms I, and, and certainly other parts of, Latin, uh, you know, I would say South America and Latin America are attractive. I just think from our standpoint, 
there's enough for us to do in our existing markets um, to expand. Uh, maybe pick a couple other key markets within Brazil um, and expand there and really kind of be more focused, you know, kind of on execution. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to seeing all of this expansion continue so and <laughs> the additional headlines that you guys, I'm sure, will make in the coming years to follow. But for our viewers who want to learn more, want to connect with you guys, where can they go to do that? Yes, just check Alea website. We are in the LinkedIn as well. Just look forward for our posts, our news, and contact. All right, gentlemen. Well, thank you so much for joining me. It was great getting to chat thank with you, you and much. talk about Appreciate Brazil. And Have to our day. viewers, thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Happy networking.